you go, this is my life and everything I'd worked my entire life for, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm throwing it all away here. I mean, this is ridiculous. So I, I gave up drinking. I haven't had a beer in like 30, I'll have a scotch occasionally, but I, I haven't like had red meat in 30 some years, stopped smoking. You know, I'd given up coffee, although I drink, you know, espresso and stuff like that. But I mean, I gave up everything, and pl including my marriage. And I think that I could, I doubled down on committing to my artwork. And I think part of the reason I think she ended up having an affair is because I was always at the studio. I was just obsessed with getting better. And um, so, uh, uh, so I was certainly not there. And plus I was not happy, you know, so, um, so I, like my idea of going into therapy and, and, and then pushing and going away from the Neil Adams thing. It's like, I'm gonna make my mark. I'm gonna do my thing. It was like anger was so much a part of it. And I think if you, if you can channel it, you know, um, you know th there's no such thing as negative, you know, it's, it's not the feelings. Feelings are the feelings. It's what you do with them. So, and that's when I, I did the issue 26 of Moon Knight called Hit It. Because I sort of felt like, you know, life hands you lemons and then you can either smash the lemons or throw them at people and you know hit them in the face with them or you can make you know lemon meringue pie and lemon, you know it's like it's like anything and I sort of tried to rather than having it be another issue of the cape of the month and villain of the month club I just wanted to do a story about a guy who you know who's angry you know anger the unresolved issues you know and it's like um, and it's what you do with it. Like you can either become a singer, like, you know, and, and make music, or you can be something that is a negative environment for the rest of the people that you ever deal with. And that was when I felt like I, I that issue of Moon Knight where everything clicked and it became, I thought I was feeling like I wanted the issue to feel like me, like it had a musical element to it. So I wanted it to have a rhythm, like, you know, and beat it and hit it and, and uh, um, uh, a cadence and I it's when I start it's it stopped feeling like the medium was about necessarily good versus evil or about you know cape of the month or you know you know global domination and it became about what the medium was possible was potential in terms of how you could arrange panels on a page and tell the story and what um, you know I'd stop trying so much. I'd want it to be able to draw well enough to, to get something to look like what it's supposed to. But that was the first time when I was trying to capture emotional aspects of things um, about how they felt. And that, it, it, I can't even say that it was a, co a, a conscious choice, like I'm gonna do how, how things feel, but they did, but there were times I know that I said that. Like uh, when, when I was drawing, um, like Neil, the Neil Adams clone phase, you know, you know, the, the idea of Neil would draw somebody who was anger and the mouth would be sort of extended beyond a, you know, like hyper realism. Um, whereas like Kirby was just, you know, everything was so over the top and exaggerated. But I wanted to sort of try to capture like a sort of a subtler, more ambivalent, ambiguous sense of, uh, of emotion and discomfort in terms of how the image was was portrayed. Like if you do a a, a drawing of a beautiful woman in you know in a light very light pencil and a very thin delicate line, you know it says something very much. It, it the way it's created says something about the the subject matter. And then you could do that some, same woman with like a a piece of big thick charcoal and still have elements of delicacy to it, but has a bolder kind of, so I felt that the way you put something down on paper would also be part of the storytelling. It conveys subconsciously what people are looking at.